massive bit having this role, but I don't really see it as, as, a, as a big thing. I mean, we've got a, a, a ton of experience and, and a ton of skills, so our, my job's quite easy. I don't really have to do anything. We sort of lead ourselves and, and direct ourselves around, so yeah, it's, it's not really a role, it's just something that I have to do. It's been massive. I think it's been it's been good for our development. Like we've 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 grown as a, as a team, as players, not not just as like athletes, but as people too. We've we've, we've grown and, and and we've learnt a lot. And I think we've experienced a, a lot of little things during 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 the COVID break. I mean, we're on Zoom calls with each other, training and, and motivating each other to carry on and keep going because we have a bigger picture in mind, and that's winning this World Cup. Sort of going into the unknown, I mean, we, we haven't played each other for so long, so you don't know if, if a lot of teams have, 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 exp have, have really just got, got, um, got well and done loads of training, done loads of prep, so you don't really know what teams are going to be like, or you don't know what they're going to, yeah, you don't know what they're going to be like, so hopefully it's going to be a very competitive World Cup and we're going into every game with the intention that it's going to be difficult and it's going to be an arm wrestle to be able to get over these teams. I think Nathan Collins is gonna is gonna come out and do something spectacular, or maybe it's Sebastian Bichara or Jack Brown. Any any one of them three, I think, is gonna is gonna do amazing and, and come out and, and and sort of take the competition by storm. Probably the, my family and friends. They they motivate me more than anything. I mean. But my granddad, more than anyone, he loved he loved my sport and loved what I do, and um, yeah, so everything I do now and with sport wise, I do it for him. We just want to show that disabled people can go out there and, and can play sport at the highest level and, and be on BBC and, and, and are able to show the curiosity that, that, that he, they have and show the personality and that's the biggest thing I think this sport shows. I mean, it's the most inclusive and diverse sport in the world and, and just to be able to show that and, 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 and to be able to show the world that I think is the biggest thing ever. I think it's a big, big step forward in, in the world of rugby league, and I'm glad it's rugby league that's done that. And I think it's massive; it's life-changing for us wheelchair players. I mean, we'd have done this for free, and we'd have done this anyway. It's a chance to represent your country at the highest level at a World Cup. So to be on the same level with the men's and the women's is is massive. It just shows shows the uh, unity, what rugby league's all about, and it shows how together we all are. And um, like at England, we're all one big family, and we're all cheering each other on. And yeah, we're a tight-knit group thanks to the England Performance Unit and we all know each other and, and all cheering for each other to do well, so yeah, it's massive. Ooh, probably Sebastian Bacciari smells a little, so I want to I stay away from him. <laughs> <laughs>